guys welcome back to the windows 10 mobile technical previous video and in today's video i'm going to show you guys here the complete uh, list of the features that has been changed from the 10.5 branch to the redstone branch so which is officially going to be live on august 2nd and it may take uh, one or two days depends on your geographic location so if you guys are following my channel so i'm covering windows 10 mobile builds review long back i guess eight to nine months back here so almost each build i have covered and reply to you guys there in case of a lot of concern and queries in comments to my channel and my twitter so in summary already i have shown you all the features in each bit of review so in this video i'm going to cover the, all the top features even though there are many number of features here but it's not possible to cover all these features here so instead of giving demos here i will be just showing you a small quick snippet here of the features for more detailed video you can definitely install the latest build and get the no feel about these things here starting with the lock screen you can see there is a camera icon right here so once you uh, unlock it here it will turn into the navigation back bar right? there's a different fade animation for the, when you resize the tile for example i'm just going to resize this people icon here so notice how the fade effect is going on so you can see there is a slight bit of fade effect here which is not present in 10 x one this is a very minor change so i am sure not much of the people have noticed this thing here you come inside the settings and you jump inside any of the direct setting for example system you can see each of the system uh, sub settings has a different app icon here there has been a lot of uh, movement of the things from the many places for example you can say the glance screen has been moved from the extras to the personalization and navigation bar has been moved from the same extras to the same personalization here so and apart from that device inscription has been moved to upgrade and security there is a new your info section under the account settings if we talk about the action center we can easily uh, rearrange them we can easily remove whatever you want there for you need to just come inside this notification and action and from here itself you can simply hover it here and move to new place wherever you want and now under the quick action when you try to uh, turn on or toggle any of the settings it will show you a quick peek of the current status for example if i just turn off the wi-fi you can see this off uh, shortcut came here now if i just turn on here there is a on shortcuts come here so the same applies to the most of the settings here another notification we have a group notification instead of individual taking an example you can see for the whatsapp uh, inside the 10 5 branch you can see each of the status has a separate whatsapp app icon and the app name then you will see the sender name and whatever text is there but inside the redstone you can see all the similar kind of notification have been grouped in a similar way and you can uh, see this if there is further more notification it will show you how much more is left for example there are 18 more emails are there there are eight more twitter notifications are there there is also flexible notification layout means if you have any notifications say from the cortana then it will show you as image preview on the notification in case you have added any image inside the notification via the camera or by the gallery by default any app can show you only three notifications as you can see i have default outlook is showing three notification twitter is showing three notification and i have configured a whatsapp to showing the five notifications if you go inside the notification and action clicking on any of the app here you can see there is a number of notification visible in action center you can change it to three starting with one to twenty you can also change the priority of the notification for example i have set it the whatsapp to the high here if i can set it to top here i will always see the whatsapp notification on the top if i make it to the normal here it will go according to the app difference you can see the recent one is on the call that's why it's showing the call on the top one and guys there is a 3d touch like functionality we, what we have in ios actually i am calling it as 3d touch it is not 3d touch if you just click on this one here for a couple of seconds you will get a further three more options the same you can get from the notification and action center too but you can directly come here and if you just go go to the notification setting you can directly jump to the individual notification and action center settings There is a new feature called audio routing. There is a new feature called audio writing which shows you exactly choose where you want audio for phones and calls video to play for example if you have connected via bluetooth so in case you got any call here so you can directly set that it should directly connect to your bluetooth speaker or wherever you're talking here it won't use the phone microphone and speaker itself instead of it will use the alternative whatever you have configured there is a call reminder in case you do not attend the call for example as you can see i'm just receiving a call here if i just click on the remind me here it will show you exactly on what time uh, you, you can call it back if you say it's so tomorrow the call is ended and you will get a reminder inside your cortana you can easily change where whenever you want to call it back there's a visual voicemail for the developing devices like the lumia 950 950 xl which unfortunately i cannot show you guys here if we talk about the camera there is a new camera sound now 
you can see even there is a new screenshot sound too if i just take a screenshot you can see the standard notification sound has been changed if you go inside the camera setting you will see there is a new image size for the main camera you might be thinking why it is disabled so this is feature is only applicable for the devices with higher megapixel starting from the 20 megapixel the lumia 930 and up to 950 xl you can change how much megapixel size you want on your phone if you go inside the messaging you can simply swipe and delete whatever message you want and you can easily undo that and it will come back to your simple location if you go inside the microsoft desk there is a new feature called swipe to back gesture for example if i just open any web page here and i can easily swipe to here and i can easily come back to the original web pages here you can see i can swipe back to come but from where you have started actually the navigating the page here inside the microsoft edge you also have the account and the device sync setting if you enable that one you can easily sync your uh, microsoft edge browsing and the password in various histories for the other devices there is a direct private mode inside the microsoft edge you can easily click here and create a new private browsing when you download any file using microsoft edge it will show you a very clear notification which is now you can have better control of the apps whether you really want to run it on the background or not taking an example microsoft edge as of now is managed by windows if you just click here you get two further option always allowed in background never allowed in background so you can select in if you see any app is running more in the background you can easily select to the never allowed in background and you can leave it to manage by windows to whenever you receive any new os update there's a very advanced and good way to install the os you can easily change the active hours and you can set a various restart option when you want to use and when you want to restart the phone when you're not using your phone you can set the active hours and the phone will restart automatically at that time and it will install the updates automatically still mobile now supports the mobile hotspot 2.0 there is some new features called turn on remotely if you trust on a device and you can pair it via bluetooth your other device can easily turn on the mobile hotspot on this device you can also have now 3g only option and 4g only option if your phone is supported now you can easily select whether you really want 3g only network or 2g only network which is not available as of now in 10 5 access branch skype has been changed to the skype preview microsoft has removed the messaging app skype integration in favor of the new skype universal windows platform app here there are many new features here for example quick reply offline mode proxy setting and group video call so windows maps app has been updated with the new features like offline favorite access view multiple such as and direction at the same point also you can easily merge your here here maps contact with the windows maps to retirement clock has been updated to show a better notification inside the notification panel people app has been updated now it shows the history feature in much details so due to privacy concern i am not able to show that here but you can easily visualize the history and long term details like messaging calls skype testing skype uh, is, is not yet showing it is in beta but it will come soon with the new builds there is no need of windows insider app now you can easily go inside the settings and update and security you can easily configure the window, uh, how frequency you want to get update for example you can select a fast slow and release preview to get a build and you can easily stop the build preview from here windows keyboard now equipped with the new and latest images as you can see here these are the very new images with the human faces characters on them windows keyboard has been updated with a new copy paste algorithm for example when you are typing into an edit box on a web page you will now be able to use a paste button above the keyboard right here as you can see here one handed mode feature for the windows keyboard was earlier supported for phablets only for example the lumen 640xl and the 950xl which has the 5.5 inch mode size can support that but now if your phone is of 5 inch sizes for example the lumen 640 or lumen 830 then you can also use the one handed mode in which you can easily make your keyboard to shift to left to right or you can stretch it biggest change that has been done is in the windows store windows store has been completely redesigned with a new way to download and show the status updates when you install any app here it will show you exactly in the detail here it even shows exactly if the app is failed to install it shows the time here and what time app is installed how many number of apps got updated if you just click here it will go on to that place here and you can easily click and retry here also it will show your recent activity how many apps are installed it will show you exactly download bar how much mbs and data are left the separate categories for top apps top games featured apps and collection it has been completely redesigned from the previous version of the windows the new feature called notification mirroring microsoft has revealed notification mirroring as the to sync notification to the connected windows and pc the mobile devices that means the if you have uh, some other devices connected in the sync account you can easily see the notification of that uh, device or pc on this phone or alternative to vice versa Tana has been updated to show you the notifications of low battery critical alerts message from the messaging service sms on social media as well as a missed call from any windows and phone and a device if you are syncing and connected to in all places the new feature called apps for website which lets you open a particular link using any app instead of using the the regular mobile browser if your phone has 2 gigabytes and more ram now you can easily run 16 apps in the memory which was prior to that limited to 12 apps now it has been moved to 
16 but provided you need to have at least 2 gigabytes of phone which starts from the Lumia 1520 and 930 these are the 39 new features that has been added now we will talk about some of the removed features if you are connected to Wi-Fi network there is no option to share your Wi-Fi with your contacts it has been removed Skype app has been removed and is replaced by the Skype preview app there is no kids corner app which used to be there in the earlier Windows 10 mobile builds native FM app radio also has been removed the messaging everywhere feature which was uh, came in a few world bag in which you can easily see the notification of your phone to the PC it has been also removed that's it guys these are all the 44 new and uh, features and changes that has been done in the build and these are not just limited there are a lot of new features here and as soon as the new builds keeps on coming I used to give you guys a regular update as I am giving from the long one year here so hopefully you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe to watch the upcoming latest build and update features this is Saurabh thanks for watching I'll talk to you in my next video